Galapagos, we caught a flight from Guayaquil to Lima, Peru for our third country in South America. But at this point, we really just needed to sit still and catch up on some work because we were making big plans for the other big things that we wanted to do in South America. So we just found an apartment in Miraflores district of mm -hmm. Lima and stayed there for a full month. We also realized that we were going to be there over Christmas, so we decided it was a good idea to slow down and get a place for a whole month, pretty much the whole month of December it was. Mm -hmm. And just you know, dive into work. I signed up for some more Spanish classes, uh, so I was going to Spanish after teaching English in the mornings, Rachel was working on the blog, mm -hmm. and we had an entire month in the Peruvian capital. And fortunately, Lima is a really cool city with a lot of cool things to do. It has yet another UNESCO World Heritage Site, so we did a walking tour of the city center, we ate a lot of ceviche, Peruvian ceviche oh, so is my ceviche. favorite. Drank a lot of pisco Drank sours. Drank a lot of pisco sours, ate a lot of calzas, that's like a Peruvian mashed potato dish. Uh, nearby our apartment, there's the Parque Kennedy. The cat park. Which is also known as the cat park because a million cats live there. <laughs> <laughs> they created some sort of program to help feed the stray cats, mm -hmm. and so they just decided to make it their home. And then the uh, Miraflores area has this long Malacan, oceanfront promenade, but it's really cool in Lima because it's elevated. Mm -hmm. It's at the top of a cliff, basically. So you're looking down at the ocean from this big green cliff. There's people paragliding, there's uh, sculptures up there. It's awesome. I went to walk there almost every day. Really, There's just... also a shopping mall built into the side of the cliff called Larcomar. 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 Yeah. Larcomar. Oh. We're not big shoppers, no, but that, that was actually cool. a really cool, cool shopping mall to hang out in. So we stayed in Miraflores, but we really enjoyed Barranco. It's more Barranco of a, yeah. is way more our scene. It's way more bohemian. Artsy. A lot of uh, musicians and artists hanging out in the city square. <laughs> Breweries, yeah. really good restaurants. It's also on the coast. I think if we go back to Lima, we will probably stay in Barranco next time, but for a first time visitor, Miraflores is awesome. Well, they also have a shuttle that goes directly from the airport to Miraflores, yeah. so it's convenient. It's quite convenient. And our apartment was really nice. We had a rooftop pool, a ground level pool, and a ground level pool. The apartment was big. Mm -hmm. We had enough space to teach and not really get in each other's way. So it was nice to slow down for a month, save some money and make plans. I was working on some big plans. Uh, from Lima, we caught a flight to Santiago, Chile. We actually have a really good friend that Sasha met doing the Dharma Cecil program in Bali. Uh, she was kind enough to let us crash in her extra bedroom for the month. Yeah, she uh, had an extra room, or she had a roommate move out and let us stay in that room for a month until, and then found a new roommate later. So the perfect timing. So that was actually really, really nice, and Santiago stands out as one of my more favorite cities that we stayed in in South America, simply for the fact that we were staying with a friend. Yeah, and we had a good time together. We went out and visited her parents, mm -hmm. we hung out with friends, and had a few house parties. Um, she showed us around a bit. Is this amazing? Yeah, so you're, said, you're it's great. so amazing. Is this amazing? It's fucking great. Amazing? Wow, good choice. We got Santiago. Dropped our bags down. We only stayed one night. We stayed one night in Santiago before hitting the road again. We just caught a bus an hour and a half to the coast of Chile to Valparaiso, otherwise known as Valpo. Valparaiso has the largest fireworks display in South America for New Year's Eve. So, given that 2018 was our year-long party, we figured what better way to start the year than the biggest party in South America. Hey. Feliz Año Nuevo! Feliz Año Nuevo! <laughs> Happy New Happy Nine. New Year! That was 
Yeah, so we spent a couple nights there in a hostel, which was actually fun. We're used to Airbnbs now where we're by ourselves and we're working. It was really cool to stay in a hostel and be social again. We made a lot of friends that we ended up crossing paths with throughout the rest of our time in South America. We're in Valparaiso, Chile. Happy fucking New Year! Woo! Yeah, and we just partied for a couple days. We checked out the street art, we walked around, we ate some good food, and then just really... Um, took in the New Year's madness. We just went out and did it big. It was a lot of fun. We went to one place that's higher up uh, to watch the fireworks, and it's also less crowded, more families, uh, but that makes it kind of more chilled out for like the midnight countdown and actually watching the fireworks. <laughs> and then we walked down to, what's the name of the square? I don't know, a different square. We walked on a different square and there was a huge party going on there. Huge party with a DJ, but it was super crowded, like shoulder to shoulder, but everyone was so friendly. Yeah. We made a lot of Chilean friends that night, even though we couldn't really communicate with them. We stood around. Well, my Spanish and was out. decent at that yeah, time. Yeah, your Spanish was decent, but I couldn't talk to them. I don't know, I was pretty hammered. <laughs> That's bad. I don't think my English was very good that night. I had some liquid courage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we went back to Santiago and we did a bunch of cool stuff. Santiago is a really cool city. There's a hill in the middle of the town that's very historical. There's a little castle-like thing there on the hill. Yeah, I got some awesome drone shots. Let's put one in right now. <laughs> and you can go up another hill and you can see there's a really big uh, statue of the Virgin Mary. There's a cable car up there. It's a really popular place to go on the weekends. We also did a bicycle tour there, yeah? We did a bicycle tour. Do you remember the name of the company? La Bicicleta Verde. La Bicicleta Verde. Yeah, they did an awesome tour for us in Santiago. We learned about some of the tumultuous history of Chile, which yeah. you should educate yourself Highly on. Highly recommend that tour. Um, also, Chilean wine is awesome, and it's pretty affordable. So we did a winery tour. There are few. lots of them just within minutes of the city. I think we took a bus there in 20 minutes mm -hmm. and yeah, got to tour the winery and try several different varieties. That was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, again, it was a month that kind of blew, blew by really quickly because we were still working a lot while trying to see a new city. Uh, another thing we did while we were in Santiago to break up our time there is we flew down to the south of Chile to the Patagonia region. Patagonia was very high on my bucket list for South America. And Sasha did some really clever, pretty last minute planning. January is their summer mm -hmm. down there in Patagonia. And it's the busiest time of year to travel there. Yep, and especially especially if you want to go to Torres del Paine, which is probably the most famous park. Of course, that's where we wanted to go as well for our first time. Uh, the thing really... about Torres del Paine is a lot of their campsites need to be booked in advance. Yes. And there are three different companies that operate the campsites, so therefore you have to go to three different websites yeah. to try and book them. And they book out early. Right. There are some free camping spots, but I think you even need to it's register tough. for that. It's so really it's tough. actually really difficult. So while we were in Lima, Sasha stayed up really late one night looking at a bunch of different websites and working his planning magic. Sasha's a master planner and I'm totally going to pimp out his skills someday. So if you need a travel planner, let me know. But anyways. <laughs> I managed to find a campsite that was available. So I booked it for just the one night because I hadn't found anything. So I booked it for the one night and then tried to figure out how he could spend more time in the park. You stuck about your hobo dinner? Oh yeah. It's super hobo. It's all right. <laughs> so you get these nice big pads and sleeping bags when you rent a tent. We ended up only getting to spend two nights camping, and we kind of had to walk back and forth and do some kind of clever maneuvering. So but we didn't get to do any of the yeah. major circuits, the O track or the W. I would love to go back and do we it someday. We did a large part of the W track, and, and we, we saw a lot. And we did get to go stay in camp in Patagonia. It was awesome. It's absolutely beautiful. Highly recommend it. I really want to go back and do more, and also cross into Argentina. Definitely. But, um, yeah, that was a major highlight for us. We will talk a lot more about uh, Patagonia in a different video so stay tuned for that and then from Santiago and from Chile we went to Brazil for carnival uh, we went back to Chile after Brazil and we spent one week in Santiago this time we got an Airbnb downtown So we could 
work some more and kind of get ready for the next adventure. We celebrated my birthday during that week. So yeah. that was pretty cool, having a birthday in Santiago. It was fun. Uh, it was cool staying downtown in really in the heart of the city. We were able to walk to the main square in two minutes. Yeah, it was actually really awesome staying there. There's a lot of really cool things to do. The square is beautiful. I managed to do a couple of museums in yeah. that week while we were there. So got to check off some things we missed on the first go round. And the reason we went back to Chile is because we wanted to go to the north of Chile to the Atacama Desert. So that's where we headed next. Mm -hmm. 